is quite a formidable opponent. Over him. <laughs> oh, man in white, that's over him. <coughs> Taking his opponent to the floor right now, and that's good. He's in position now, and from there on he can start working. Going straight uh, with the elbow in the throat. Taking on the side man now, of course. Over in uh, being quite... Oh, that's good. That's good. Trying for the, uh, the ankle lock. No. A lot of technique there. And it's difficult for Peter Vesluro to start a fight like this because the young over in really, really piles up the pressure. Straight away. And up until now, it's Overeem's fight. Who's moving to and fro um, over his hapless opponent who's lying on the floor on the back. He can't do very much, really. Going from position to side mount, from side mount to position. Well, there it is, the arm lock. And Peter Vesuva taps out. Well, he can't do very much either. Um, the superior technique of Alastair Overeem made sure that this um, fight that couldn't continue got to tap out. Excruciating pain, of course, being administered to a arm, to, to the elbow joint. Well, this man once again shows that he's uh, one of the great promises of Dutch free fight and of course international mixed martial arts. And he wins out by making his opponent tap out in a round one because of an arm lock, you can see here. Great victory, fast, technically high skilled, the way we like to see things done in the ring. Well, I'm sure Peter Vesluur had thought that he would last a bit longer than this. Then again, it shows you once again the uh, the power of good ground techniques. Thank you for the Golden Glory team.